The Ducks are into the last eight. Well, we're back in the middle of one of the most iconic places in sports. Emily, both of these teams last year advanced to this stage in the tournament, but neither made the national semifinals. They both lost heartbreaking five setters. What are these two teams like this year? Both Wisconsin and Oregon have been dominant all season, but they get it done in different ways. Wisconsin relies on that physicality and aggressive play up front. Oregon, on the other hand, it's speed and ball control. Well, one thing we do know, if Wisconsin's going to win, they're going to need to block like they did on Thursday. Wisconsin is one of the most physical teams in the country. That plays out with a stifling block up front. Any hitter going up against them has a brick wall to try to hit around. But it's not just their height. These players are so disciplined and patient in their movements that explode to get to the ball. The Badgers lead the nation in blocks per set. Oregon has to swing high and hard all night long. Then offensively, Wisconsin has also been so balanced all year, making sure to get everyone involved throughout matches to keep those opponents guessing. And how do you combat that dominant physicality? It's with speed and finesse. That's exactly what Oregon does. When the Ducks are firing, they're one of the toughest in the country to stop because of that speed. Setter hand of Pucas from the time that ball is in her hands to when it's on the outside pin is lightning fast. If you blink, you will absolutely miss it. When Oregon is in system, it is one of the toughest offenses to stop. And on any given night, any of these five attackers can absolutely go off. The pins are aggressive and crafty in the middles. They're physical and efficient. Wisconsin's blockers have to stay disciplined against this fast offense to shut it down. Yeah, some impressive numbers they put up in the NCAA tournament. Again, both these teams were here in the regional final last year. Wisconsin lost on this floor in a heartbreaker to Pitt, 15-13 in the fifth. Oregon had a match point against Louisville and was unable to advance. Tonight, one of these two teams goes to Tampa as a national semifinalist. This three out of five set match underway in Madison. Opening swing to Franklin. Sarah Franklin, the Big Ten Player of the Year this season. She's one to watch tonight. She's going to get a lot of sets in system, out of system. It doesn't matter. Both setters love to find her. Caroline Crawford will serve first for Wisconsin. She had an unbelievable blocking night on Thursday. Pukas putting up the set in the back row. And somehow that is a kill put down by Morgan Lewis, who had a fantastic match against Purdue with 14 kills. Lewis has had a fantastic tournament so far. She's already hitting 500 just through the past three games. Look for Oregon to continue to get her going. Libro Georgia Murphy will be serving for Oregon. Smreck hitting hands. Nice dig by Gonzalez. Collier stuffed, but they keep it in play. With that. Right away, Oregon is finding out just how big that Badger block is in front of them with Carter Booth, who's 6'7", and a Smrek, who's 6'9", right in front of her. Collier's testing it out early. She's got to go just a little bit higher to get over it. They are a wall. Ashburn, one of the two setters for Wisconsin, is rotated in. She will serve. Robinson, number 10 in white, is now up on the front row for Wisconsin as well. And there's Carson Bacon picking up a kill for the Ducks. Matt Ulmer has his team for the first time in program history in back-to-back -back regional finals. He actually is from Wisconsin with the college at Carthage College and the Hall of Fame. His mom, by the way, is the head women's coach there to this day. Franklin attacks again. Collier bumps it over. Guchtikin saves it. This has got to go over. Fantastic hustle by the Badgers. Collier over the block. Guchtikin again. Pukas sets Bacon who terminates. Man, Hannah Pukas is such a great setter. She knows exactly what's going on on the other side where the defense might be confused. She puts the ball right there. She also makes sure that she goes up and acts like she's going to swing. That pulls in those blockers to leave her middles one-on-one. -on -one. 
McClellan into serve. She served an ace against Purdue on her first serve Thursday night. Off the slide, Robinson. <laughs> Kelly Sheffield has put himself among the elite in the sport, has taken this program to another regional final. Six in a row for Wisconsin. And they are seeking yet another national semifinal as well. Wisconsin getting big production on the front line. Those are not booze. That is Carter Booth. We wondered how the speed was going to go up against physicality. Oregon's been in system. They're running that tempo with speed, but Wisconsin just able to shut it down. Sarah Franklin serving for Wisconsin. Nice serve. Targeted Gonzalez. He's a laser. Ashburn setting Booth again. Nice dig by Murphy. Orzel, the libero for Wisconsin. Thomas Ilara, she could not have walked it over there any better. That was perfect, Emily. What a beautiful swing from Thomas Ilara. She goes up and over the block. This kind of comes off her hand like a serve, but it perfectly lands right in that back corner. They call it the coffin corner for a reason. Ilara and Booth, two of the reasons that Wisconsin Ram the 6-2 again this year because they're just such lethal attackers. Bacon off the slide, this time doesn't get it to go down. Pucas pushes it out to Collier. Ashburn trying to save it. Orzel dove to the floor, but too much power hammered by the Ducks. Much better adjustment for Mimi Collier up front with the big block in front of her. She knows she has to swing just a little bit higher. That time did a great job clipping fingertips. Call your last season's National Freshman of the Year. Service errors are going to be something to watch for this Oregon team because they know they have to get Wisconsin out of system to affect that balance and make it a little bit more predictable. One of the most versatile players in the United States. She happens to come from Poland, Julia Orzel, who was an outside hitter on this team at this stage last year, transitioned over to the Libero role this year because of the new firepower added to the Wisconsin roster. And what a job she's done. Many people consider her already one of the best in the land. She's doing an incredible job transitioning into that libero jersey, but it's no surprise. When you come from the international game, you have to be well-rounded as a pin hitter. She's adjusted to the libero position perfectly. Ferrero with a nice serve. Ashburn setting Thomas Ilara, and she's blocked by Kara McGee. Huge close from Kara McGee up front, set up so well by Hannah Pukas. McGee moved inside knowing this ball was out of system. The only person that could get that was the outside. Great block from Oregon. We are tied at six. Ashburn, Thomas Ilara, perfect again to the corner. Thomas Ilara doing a fantastic job finding ways out of difficult situations. This ball was not perfect for her. It was behind her head a bit. She adjusted that arm swing to still get on top of it and put some spin to put it down. MJ Hamill, one of the two setters who had a double-double against Penn State on Thursday. 20 assists, 14 digs, also had an ace. Biomedical engineering major. And what a serve. Nice job by McGee to keep it up. Hamill to Smrek. That hit the scoreboard. It comes down on Oregon's side. It's playable. Gonzalez just can't get it to go down. Franklin back row attack. This is one of the advantages of running that 6-2, but you have Franklin who also plays in the backcourt. So Wisconsin at any given time has four attackers coming at them. Now we're going to have a challenge by Oregon. Looks like they're challenging a net fall of Oregon thinking that Wisconsin might have been in the net coming down on one of those blocks. The net definitely moved a bit. It's hard to tell whether it might have been the ball or maybe hands or a jersey coming down on it. Well, we've got a fantastic officiating crew tonight. Devin McCarty's the up judge with Daphne Nelson, Bill Stanley, Henry Chen, Sarah Myers, all part of one of the elite crews here tonight. And there's a look at Devin.
fun having a chat with these officials before the match. So they are very interested in, in teaching the rules of the game to the national audience now that this sport is exploding in popularity. So you get two challenges per match. If you do not win your challenge, it's taken away. And let's see what happened here. Watch the net. Take a look at this, see if there was any hands coming down. Oh, looks like Anna Smrek may be coming down off that block. She was in the net, so the call is reversed. Oregon keeps the challenge, and the point goes to the Ducks, and it'll send Hannah Pukas back to serve. Good challenge by Coach Ulmer. Hannah Pukas transferred in from Washington State, one of the captains on this team. Her dad taught her as she was growing up, believe you're the best in the gym, and it takes fear out of the equation. And this is a pretty fearful place for opponents. Wisconsin hasn't lost here all year. Tammy Thomas Ilara. Man, Tammy Thomas Ilara in just her first NCAA tournament ever has been making a splash for this Wisconsin team. Kelly Sheffield said coming into this, she was like a kid in a candy shop. She was so excited. She's playing like it. Yeah, they called it a Christmas Day experience for her. She came here from Northwestern, perhaps the greatest player ever to play at Northwestern, but had never made the NCAA tournament until this year. Gustikin! Leaping into the arms of MJ Hamill. You know, it was Julia Orzel that said she's such a hugger. And we just saw an example of that. Anytime she gets an ace, <laughs> she will run up to those setters and bear hug them. From Istanbul, Turkey. And Wisconsin's taking the lead here. Puka settles under it. McGee dug by Guchtikin. Franklin hitting hands. How about that transition play? Cool Jay Guchikin coming off of the serve makes an incredible read to get this ball up. And then the set from the middle. Sarah Franklin does an easy job putting it right inside those blockers. Pukas chases that down. Dug by Orgel. Franklin again. Hitting high hands. Wisconsin's outsides having so much success with that back corner. They're able to go up and over Oregon's blockers, really frustrating Oregon's defense. One of the loudest arenas in the country, and it is rocking right now. Wisconsin up in the opening set. Here in the Wisconsin Fieldhouse, the Badgers up 11 to 7 in this opening set. The winner moves on to the national semis in Tampa. Stanford and Texas follow us tonight from Stanford and the winner of this will play the winner of that and a good side out for the Ducks Morgan Lewis right out of that timeout. much better side out for Oregon Wisconsin's doing a great job serving Gabby Gonzalez in her space she's really good when it's right on her platform but they're making her move a lot forcing Oregon out of system that was a good take Gabby Gonzalez serving a little too much on that Now watch for Wisconsin to continue to keep that ball right on Gabby Gonzalez, eight and green. Second service error on the Ducks, and they still don't have an ace. Crawford back to serve again, second time she served tonight. Smrek, off hands, Gonzalez saves it. Collier, little long, no touch, point Wisconsin. That's a good swing for Mimi Collier, but a more better disciplined block on Wisconsin side with Anna Smrek just going low and over, forces Collier to hit that ball out of bounds. Crawford had 10 blocks against her opposition on Thursday. Pushes that serve a little long and will rotate out. Murphy right in front of that student section. Hamill to Booth. We haven't seen Wisconsin go to their middles too much in this match so far. That's just the second set to one of their middles. But Carter Booth doing a great job of getting high, putting it down. Izzy Ashburn 
never missed a match as a Badger since she started her career here at Wisconsin. Serves Gonzalez. And again, Morgan Lewis has just put on quite a show in the NCAA tournament in every match. Lewis is such an impressive hitter because she doesn't just hit one shot. This one, she sneaks right down the line. We've already seen her tonight go to that hard cross court shot as well. Three kills on seven swings, no errors. McClellan back into serve and delivers another ace. She had one against Purdue on Thursday. And that's the first ace of the match for the Ducks. A beautiful serve right in between the seams of the passers, not going right at them, but right between them. Short serve this time. Off the slide, Robinson. Pukas setting Collier. Point goes to Oregon. Wisconsin in the net again on that block on the right side, just getting a little bit too aggressive up front. McClellan with ice water in her veins, serving in front of that student section. Two aces. Oh. And that second ace just at the exact same spot that the first one was at, too, right between Guchtikin and Franklin, really forcing them to talk about who's going to take that. 4 0 run now by Oregon. There's those students right behind her. Ashburn runs this down. We'll set Franklin. And Franklin terminates for a much needed side out. Every time Franklin goes up there, she just makes these shots sharper and sharper as the match goes on. Expect her to continue to keep cutting that inside the 10 foot line. Four kills for Sarah Franklin on five swings. No errors as she rotates back to serve. Numbers aren't too shabby, huh? Not at all, especially with the pressure involved in this match tonight. Both these teams coming up short last year in five sets. Booth just couldn't get that to go down. Here's a free ball, though, for Wisconsin. See what they do with it. Booth, this time, no doubt. This is where Wisconsin is so good. If you give them a free ball, they never mess it up. It is always right on the pocket. The setters don't even have to move. It's so difficult to defend when you have no idea where that set's going. Second kill for Booth, again 6-7. Transferred in from Minnesota. Pukas to Bacon. Orgel keeps it alive. Orgel calls everyone else, bumps it over. Franklin digs. Ashburn sends it over. Collier. Devin Robinson, Doug. Oh. Orgel diving. And Thomas Ilara, she'd had some success finding that corner earlier in the set, but this time hit it long. How about the defense? Yeah. Just those ups from both sides. Orzel read that dump so, so well. That was a beautiful dump from Pukas going behind the head. Awesome rally. Kelly Sheffield took this team to the national title in 2021. Trying to get them back to that stage this year. Wisconsin's the number three seed overall in the tournament. Top seed in this regional. Paul, you're serving. Ashburn, Thomas Ilara. Doug, nice dig by Murphy. Ashburn will set Thomas Ilara again. She's blocked by Pukas. Joust. Thomas Ilara wins the joust. Such a confidence boosting play for Thomas Ilara. She made an error and then had two swings, good swings that they were just able to dig up. That's what she needed. She needed a little bit of boost of confidence so she knows next time she goes up, she can take a big rip. To me, Thomas Ilara, grad student in applied biotechnology. And one of the all time greats at Northwestern and now big part of this Badger team. Gonzalez, a thunderous attack. Beautiful attack off of an even better set from Hannah Pukas on the complete right side of the court. She pushes this ball with tempo all the way out to the outside. That allows the seam in the block for Gonzalez to hit throw. Pukas already with eight assists. She is so impressive. Number nine in green, the setter. Wisconsin clinging to a two-point lead, but Oregon is starting to serve tough. That was Elise Ferreira who unleashed the ace. Her dad, the former 
head coach here from 2000 to 2004. Oregon really upping their service pressure on Wisconsin. We saw errors early, but now they're getting it in, and they're tough. Ashburn to Crawford. Fucus dump is dug by Orgel. Fucus with the set to Collier out of the back row. Robinson. Nobody, nobody was sure who was going to take that. A bit of miscommunication on Oregon's side, deciding who was going to take that second ball. That miscommunication led to a little bit of chaos, forcing them to send that ball out of bounds. And Matt Ulmer's been so fun to watch him engage with his team. He's doing chest bumps, high fives. He's like another player out there. Oh, he makes it so exciting. That's <laughs> the kind of coach you want to play for, someone who gets you hyped up too. He was over here chatting to us just moments before we started the match. Hamill serving. Both these coaches just a delight to deal with. Crawford takes care of the overpass. Oh, wait a minute. They have a net violation. Let's see. No. Point's going to stay with Oregon, excuse me, with Wisconsin. So it is Crawford who gets credit for that kill. Lucas, quick set to Gonzalez. Thomas Ilara. A oh, nice dig by Murphy. Smrek. Anna Smrek starting to get going during this match. Wisconsin's made it a point to send a lot of these balls outside. That opens things up for the right sides when they get set. Wisconsin hits the 20 point mark first prompting Oregon to take a timeout. Coach Sheffield was chatting with his setters coach Olmers talking to the whole team and uh, this dynamic here the two setters Ishburn on the left Hamill on the right they've really formed a nice partnership Emily which in a 6 2 you don't always get but they're they're like a team in and of themselves. These are two of the closest players that you'll see on Wisconsin's team. They work so well together in a 6 2 system. Sometimes you'll have setters that are butting heads. Maybe they think they should be the starter. That's not the case with Ashburn and Hamill. They work so well together when one is off of the court and the other one checks back in. They'll tell each other what they're looking at what they're seeing from the defense on the other side and that's ex exactly what you want from two setters and two of your leaders and captains. Well, the NTA Division I Women's Volleyball Championship match is December 17th at 3 Eastern on ABC for the first time in history. Live from Tampa, Florida. For more information on all 90 NCAA championships, visit NCAA.com. Well, if you can ever get here for a volleyball match, I would encourage you to do it. This is just one of the most fun atmospheres I have ever been part of. It's my second straight year doing a regional here. It's one of the best environments, not just in college volleyball, but really in college sports. Sam, I feel like I've been to a lot of big arenas this season. This might be the, loud, the loudest, hands down. You know, the whiteout at Penn State's pretty loud, but this place, every single night, 7,000 plus, and they are in your face. One of only 12 programs to win the national championship in this sports history at the Division I level. Nebraska out of the Big Ten has just moved on to the national semifinals, so we will have Pitt against Nebraska in one of the national semifinals. Pitt there for the third straight year, and Nebraska getting back there. Nebraska the number one team in the tournament this year, but Wisconsin the only team to have beaten the Huskers this season. They did it here on this floor. Gonzalez sides out. That's the second time Matt Ulmer's used a timeout, and both times they've sided out right after the timeout. And Matt Ulmer has a way of getting this team going during timeouts. They look, look crisp out of every timeout they have, nailing that pass, getting the offense going. Oregon within three, deep in the set. Remember, we go to 25 win by two. Thomas Ilara off hands. Thomas Ilara flying up there, getting the top of those hands. Man, she can just jump out of the gym. That's one of the reasons she is so tough to stop. Look at how high she gets up there over the block. 
He rotates out with four kills. Guchtikin back in to serve. Guchtikin last year was the lead row this year, a defensive specialist. And McGee with authority. The Baylor Bear, former player. Sister Elise still there. Sister Elise still at Baylor. And Carol will be wrapping up her career as a duck when this tournament's over, hoping to play in the new Pro Volleyball Federation League. Hamill setting Franklin over the block. Nice dig by Goostikin. Smrek just missed it. In the red zone, this is when you want to make as few errors as possible. Have to play clean from here on out. Good serve from Gonzalez. Franklin. There's Collier. And for those of you who have been watching the Nebraska win, we welcome you into the Wisconsin Fieldhouse for this regional final between Wisconsin, the top seed in this region, against Oregon, the number two seed. We are getting close to wrapping up our opening set. I'm Sam Gore along with Emily Eamon. And this is what's happened so far, Emily, as Nebraska, excuse me, as Wisconsin's now two points away from winning the set. Wisconsin's done a phenomenal job really targeting Oregon and service seed, trying to take away that speed of their offense that they run. Pukas with the set behind her. Guchtikin runs in and will set Franklin, Big Ten Player of the Year. Smrek tight to the net, hits into the block. Franklin again, cuts it sharp. That hit the scoreboard, came down on Oregon's side. The ball is live. Nice dig by Murphy. Crawford punches it toward the net, but it's not going to stay in bounds. And what an effort by the Ducks in that rally. Georgia Murphy doing an incredible job making big reads outside the block. This is what you want from a libero. She's not afraid when there's a middle going up with no block in sight. She steps in there and she gets it up for her team, eventually resulting in the point. Kelly Sheffield had a little question about what happened in that rally. Good question. Might have thought that was a lift early on when there was a bunch of net play happening on Oregon's left front side of the net. MJ Hamill is going to go over and talk to the up judge, Devaney McClarty, one of the best in the business. That's not something you can challenge. It's a judgment call. Well, all good now. Goodstickin with the serve receive. Smack. It went long, and Oregon is trying to catch up. Kelly Sheffield asking if there was a touch. Player said no, and he said, okay, I'll take a timeout. He's trying to stall any momentum he can for this Oregon squad that's coming back. They've been playing from behind this entire set. But Wisconsin knows if they leave the door open for Oregon even a little bit, they can kick it through. Well, Emily, we've got a, a new audience joining us. Both of these teams made the regional final last year. Wisconsin lost a heartbreaker on this court to Pitt. Oregon had match point against Louisville and lost in five. So neither of these teams were able to advance. How would you describe the two teams this season for those that have just joined us. Well, Wisconsin gets it done with their physicality. They are aggressive and physical up front. Oregon, on the other hand, they run the fastest offense in the country. From the time that ball is inside her hand of Bukas' hands to the time it's on the outside pin is lightning fast. So it's a difference between physicality and speed. Oregon is looking for its second national semifinal. The Badgers last year failed to make the semis and they're hoping to get back there this year. And if they're going to do it, they have to rely on two outsides. Temi thomas Ilara and Sarah Franklin for Wisconsin, both doing well tonight. These setters got them going very early on and they're finding success. Franklin's having a lot of success with that cut shot back inside the block. While thomas Ilara on the other hand, a lot of hitting high right at hands. 
Wisconsin has not dropped a match in the field house this year 16 and 0. The sixth straight regional final for the Badgers and the first time in program history that Oregon has made back to back regional finals. Murphy will try to serve right in front of the Oregon student section. She pulls it off. Nice serve. Franklin. Blocked by Bacon. It was a wall put up by Bacon and Lewis. It's a perfect example of the serve working so well with the block. The serve gets Wisconsin out of system, forcing that ball only to go outside. The block got it done easily. It's also an example of this veteran Oregon team who Matt Ulmer says never gets rattled. <laughs> Hamill to Franklin. And Franklin terminates. How about that swing from Sarah Franklin? A little no looky cookie on it. This ball pushed all the way out to the line. She doesn't look at the line, but takes that cross body shot right through her arm to go down. Set point, Wisconsin. Gonzalez with the receive. Here's Pukas behind her, and that attack is out. And the Badgers claim the opening set. You can feel the intensity and the pressure. And it is the Wisconsin Badgers who wrap up the first set in their pursuit to go to Tampa. Backing away from a big challenge up front. You see those block numbers as well. Wisconsin putting up five in just that set alone. It was a big defensive play. Set, and that's why we saw those hit numbers just a little bit below both teams average. Now the Oregon serve got going in the latter half of that set. They actually have three aces in that opening set, but it is Wisconsin up a set. Both these teams again lost at the same stage last year and were unable to advance to the national semifinals. They have rebuilt with the intention of making the last four. For Wisconsin, they are trying to make their fourth national semifinal in five years. For Oregon, seeking their second ever. And in that first set, when Milestone, Devin Robinson recorded her 1,000th career kill. So we're making all kinds of history tonight, Emily. That's exactly what you expect from yeah. two of the premier volleyball teams in the country. McGee rotates out after scoring. Oregon up a point here to start the second. Murphy serving for the Ducks. Murphy planning on going to nursing school. Already working in that profession part time. Smrek terminates. Smart, high confidence swing from Anna Smrek. We saw her get blocked a few times later in that first set. Much better adjustment swinging high over it. Next 6 9 the tallest player to ever wear a Wisconsin uniform but she is so versatile. Puka settles under that to Collier and Collier terminates from the left pin. Beautiful swing for Mimi Collier with a huge block in front of her. She's not afraid to take a big swing with the speed of this offense. Look how fast it is even 10 feet off the net. It is lightning fast to get out to Collier for her to put it through the seam. McClellan into serve. She had two aces in the first set. Hamill to Franklin. Collier just could not get that ball to clear the net. Point Wisconsin. It was a smart decision for Mimi Collier to try to go up and play that ball, but just a little bit off in terms of her body was off balance and she thought she might have been a little bit closer to the net. Izzy Ashburn in to serve. Grad student here in business analytics. Off the slide, Bacon. Tools the block. Point Ducks. 
Gabby Gonzalez has done a phenomenal job as this match has gone on, really settling in on server seed. Wisconsin is targeting her. She was a bit shaky to start this match, but she has done a phenomenal job since. Gonzalez transferred in from Ohio State, all Pac-12 this year. Ace by Collier. This was the same exact rotation Wisconsin struggled in during the last set with Guchtikin and Franklin playing right next to each other. That seam has become a focal point for Oregon to hit through. A nice serve. First time Oregon has led by two points in this match. Franklin is blocked, kept alive by Robinson. Franklin will try again. And this time gets it to go down. Such a small seam for Franklin to hit through, but man, she manages to find it. Franklin has such great court vision, even in these difficult situations, she can go right through it. Franklin back to serve, been playing varsity volleyball on her high school team when she was in the eighth grade, and now Big Ten Player of the Year. And Gonzalez, there's the speed of that offense, Emily. It is so fast, and what that does is it, is it puts so much stress on Wisconsin's blockers because they can't get outside fast enough from the time it's in Pucas's hands to the time the outside's making contact. No blocker can get there on time to close it up. Oregon leading again by two. Herrera serving Franklin. Franklin was perfect in serve receive on Thursday against Penn State. And a nice diving dig by Ashburn. Collier comes flying in. That is an instant highlight reel play. Stunning sweep Whoa. from Collier out of the backcourt. Man, she landed and you thought she was in the front row based on how explosive this was. She comes running through. No one's getting that ball. Robinson, fresh off her 1,000th career kill in the first set. Collier again, hit hands. Watch out, Mimi Collier's heating up. Collier's so good in the backcourt when she has swings because she has a bigger lane and runway to work with. She can see the block in front of her. She knows exactly where to take it to the right or left. Orgel. Cannot receive that serve. It is an ace for Elise Ferreira. Oregon's fifth ace on the night already. Wisconsin has to dig in a little bit deeper and serve receive and talk better. The Ducks coming on strong out of the gate here in the second set. They lost the first. They're up eight to three early in the second. Strong. And Morgan has been doing her father's memory so proud. She's been an absolute star in the NCAA tournament so far for the Ducks. Side out right away by Wisconsin's Carter Booth. Both teams, when they take that timeout, have done a phenomenal job siding out really quickly, nailing that initial pass and getting a good hitter going to put it away. Yeah, they really have. Carter Booth, excellent on Thursday against Penn State. Just so efficient. Still no errors tonight. Pucas to Collier again, and this time. Collier showing some humanity. She missed. Yeah, barely. She was just a few <laughs> inches out of bounds. That's a good run from Hannah Pucas to get her going in this rotation when the hitters are split. Orzol back to serve. Orzol again from Poland. Only one attack error from Oregon in this set. That was the last Collier swing. Robinson terminates off the block. Wisconsin is really targeting Gabby Gonzalez on so many of these serves, pretty much every single one of them tonight, unless they're missing to one of her seams. But watch this. They'll target right from the left side of the court back to Oregon's left side of the court. Every time it's going right at Gonzalez. Duke is setting Gonzalez so fast. Ashburn runs it down. Thomas Ilara, are you kidding me? Oh! Who takes a swing at that ball? I'll tell you, Temi Thomas-Ilara takes a swing <laughs> at that ball. 
so difficult coming from the other side of the court. That takes so much confidence to do. That's basically volleyball's version of the alley-oop in basketball. That was amazing. 4-0 run right now by the Badgers. And again, those are not Booths. Carter Booth. You got Caroline Crawford up there now. Standing behind her. Timmy Thomas Ilara Robinson in as well. What a front line right now for Wisconsin. Robinson. Six unanswered points by Wisconsin. The field house. Stop. From the moment the fans run into the field house, they never stop. And sometimes it feels like they're cheering more and having more fun during those timeouts, <laughs> singing Fill Me Up Buttercup or all of these things. It's so fun here. Gonzalez trying to end a Wisconsin 6-0 run. Oregon led this set 8-3. McGee. And somebody's in the net. It was Wisconsin point Oregon to end that 6-0 run. And already Wisconsin's third time being in the net on some of these blocks. They need to do a better job of being disciplined, going low and over, but not coming down on the net. And Apukas, the setter, in to serve. Serving Franklin. Thomas Ilara terminates. Thomas Ilar is heating up right now. She's taking such strong, confident swings, seeing where the defenders are set up and going right inside them. Six kills for her. What a difference maker she's been for the Badgers this year after getting that degree in biomedical engineering. Came here as a grad student in applied biotechnology because she felt like she'd have the best of both worlds here at Wisconsin with the field of study and volleyball. Lewis unable to get that to go down point Badgers. That's a really good run by Oregon moving Lewis in on a 32 set meaning it's between the middle and the right side. So she had an open net. She's got a little bit too aggressive swinging down on it. And they'll do a little uh, sweat mopping right now. It is a hot and humid in the field house. <laughs> MJ Hamill in to serve. Nice serve. Wisconsin continuing to keep the pressure on Gabby Gonzalez, but not putting it right on her. They're doing a fantastic job serving right in the seams next to her. Wisconsin's now won nine of the last ten points to build this three-point lead. Pukas. Back to Gonzalez. Orzel took a shot and kept it alive. Thomas Ilara was looking for a touch. Officials don't agree. Point Oregon. Much better answer by Gabby Gonzalez, nailing that pass and getting the swing off right away. But a beautiful up by Orzel in the backcourt. She's playing phenomenally back there. Absolutely. Gonzalez going to a float serve. She'd been serving bullets before that. Speaking of bullets, Sarah Franklin. Wow. We're seeing some back row bombs here tonight, both from Franklin for Wisconsin and Collier for Oregon, just coming out of the back row with heat and explosiveness. Eight kills on 15 swings, one error for the Big Ten Player of the Year, who uh, almost lost her volleyball career when she had a blood clot issue in one of her arms over the summer. And they are more than thankful she's back. Franklin tools the block this time. Franklin just such an incredible story from being told that her career forever may be over to having the season that she's had has been you know not only just phenomenal but remarkable and inspirational. She missed the team's European trip over the summer while she was recovering from surgery and starting her rehab. Now that point is going to be Wisconsin's Matt Ulmer's not happy with it. He felt like that it was pushed out of bounds off of a touch. And I think they're going to challenge this. Devaney McClarty uh, said she did not see a touch. So we will let the challenge determine it. 
So the point was originally awarded to Wisconsin as it was ruled out. And we'll have to see if there was indeed a touch before that ball went out of bounds. Sarah Franklin went back to her bench telling her team she was pretty confident she didn't touch that ball. So okay. we'll see if she's a good liar or not. <laughs> but we're going to see it too. Hey, you know what they say, volleyball players, the best liars, Sam. It's tough to tell from that angle. She's definitely bringing her hands back inside, but difficult to tell whether it maybe clips a pinky on the way out. Got to be clear to overrule this call. It's Morgan Lewis, number 11 for Oregon against Sarah Franklin. Maybe that pinky bent back. And the officials have some looks we don't have, so. It's possible they see something we don't. Just enjoying the sweet Caroline that the fans are singing right now. Yeah, get into it. Looks like we have a decision. There was a touch, and Sarah Franklin actually looked over at the official and nodded yes. <laughs> so good liar. All right, there we have it. Oh. That answers that. Well, Matt Ulmer's <laughs> two for two on challenges. So Oregon has both challenges, so does Wisconsin. Kelly Sheffield hasn't used a challenge yet. That changes the score to 14-11 Wisconsin. Second set, Wisconsin won the first. Hamill pushes it out to Franklin. She's had the hot hand. Nice dig by Gonzalez. Collier into the Smrek block. But it's sharp. What a dig by Goostikin. Another good dig by Pukas. Goostikin going to set Franklin. Murphy. Block goes out of bounds. Point Oregon. The transition play on both sides, it's incredible up after incredible up. And the blockers up front working so hard to get touches on these balls to slow it down for their defense as well. Morgan Lewis playing a little bit of dodgeball up there. <laughs> Murphy serving Gooch again. She was perfect in serve receive against Penn State. Franklin is roofed by Bacon. Huge stuff from Carson Bacon up front. They know exactly where Franklin wants to take this out of system ball that goes a little bit past the antenna. She wants to rip it right cross court. Again, this Oregon team is one of the most veteran teams in the country. Orgel took that serve. Franklin. Perfectly placed by Morgan Lewis. Morgan Lewis using that high reach going up and over the block, looking unfazed with whoever's in front of her. Lewis leading the Ducks again. As that was her seventh kill. She had 14 kills against Purdue. We're tied at 14. Hamill setting Smrat. Oh! And what a swing outside the antenna. She sneaks it right in between the antenna and these blockers' hands. So much physicality coming through. Touches over 11 feet tall. She's 6'9. That is an intimidating force coming at you on the attack. Another smooth attack by Morgan Lewis. She is so terminal. Hannah Pucas knows that whenever Smrek is up front, they want to avoid that outside set. So they're going to continue to push it to the right side as much as they can. Now with Pucas in the front row and Lewis coming out, look for them to get their middles involved just a little bit more. Lewis rotating out with eight kills. Smrek. This is dug by Gonzalez. And Collier, unable to put that down. Guchtikin with an excellent dig. Franklin, it's perfect in the corner. 
Time and time again, Wisconsin's outsides nailing that corner. It's something they practice every single day. Taking a little bit of pace off and going up and over the block to land it right between the two defenders deep. This set has been a tug of war. Spot in the national semifinals on the line for both. Collier, a lot of runway. Cut it too sharp, point Wisconsin. A really well-formed block by Wisconsin forces Collier to hit that ball out of bounds because that's the only angle she had to hit. Matt Ulmer came over and gave her a little coaching tip right after that attack. Pukas off the side to Bacon. That's exactly what Oregon needs to do when they get a good pass. Get those middles involved as much as possible because they're oftentimes one-on-one -on -one up front. Collier's mom, Nicole, an All-American for Long Beach State. She was an NCAA leader in hitting percentage. Her dad, Jeff, was an All-American on the Long Beach State water polo team. Amy Collier's been playing for Team USA in the summer. Carter Booth. No question about that one. When Booth is up there one on one, she's going to slice this ball right in front of the 10 foot line. I wouldn't want to be on the other side of that one. Booth, number 52, same jersey as her dad wore, Calvin, who is a 10 year member of the NBA now, the GM of the Denver Nuggets, and Pukas with the first successful dump of the match from the setter position. Pukas is normally a pretty offensive setter. She knows exactly when to go up and take it over. Just the first time already a set and a half into this. I'd like to see her get a little bit more involved in the offense for herself. Tough as nails, daughter of a Navy SEAL. Ashburn setting Robinson. Gonzalez tried to go over the block. That's tough to do. Collier hitting the net. Badgers save it. Robinson. Lucas again. Orzo with a diving dig. Gonzalez. Oh, what power. So much power coming from Gonzalez on that ball. It's such a difficult ball to take a full swing on. She's off balance, it's off the net. The only thing she can do is go for this high corner. She knows in a chaotic situation, she's gonna unload on it. We are tied for the seventh time in this critical second set. Ashburn setting Thomas Ilara. Bukas back set to McGee, and McGee crushes it off the slide. That was a pretty set and play. And as the set's gone on, Bukas has made it a point to get those middles more and more involved because she notices when she does, they are one on one. Wisconsin will take a timeout as Oregon now with a one point lead. Off the 22nd assist of the match from Hannah Pukas. This Oregon team dropped the first set to Wisconsin. Look at Carter Booth in this timeout. She's leading the charge. Number 52 in white. So Wisconsin will try to figure things out here, trailing by one. Again, Oregon just so composed with this veteran squad. If Wisconsin could take a two sets lead, that would be massive for the Badgers, but I feel like Oregon really needs to win this set. What Oregon's done really well to come back is they're serving. They're putting an absolute bullet from the end line. And not only are they targeting specific players, but they're moving it around next to them. They're really targeting Duke Chicken whenever she's back there, but not serving right at her, serving in the spaces next to her, dropping one right in front of her as well. The Ducks finished second to Stanford in the Pac-12. In fact, Stanford was the last match they lost a five setter to the Cardinal and they come into this match against Wisconsin 
On an eight match win streak, they've won 12 of the last 13. They are the number two seed in this regional. Following us, it will be the Stanford Cardinal, the number one seed out of Stanford, taking on Texas, who survived a thriller against Tennessee in the regional semifinals. That follows us here on ESPNU. Ferreira to serve. Robinson goes down the line. And then they, they keep that streak alive of scoring right out of the timeout, both teams. Exactly what you want from your team, coming out of that timeout, nailing the pass. Robinson did a great job adjusting her swing to the defense in front of her. She couldn't take that big swing, but that power tip got it done right down the line. Tied at 19. Orger with a nice serve, Pukas. No one was there to really get a nice swing on that. Collier had to just touch it over. McClellan with the dig. Gonzalez attacks. Off hands. Gonzalez having a lot of success going off those hands, really just using that powerful, heavy arm to bang through the blockers. Oregon has not come back from two sets down this season. They don't want to face that situation here in Wisconsin. Ashburn behind her to Robinson. And it's been a back and forth battle this entire set. Now look, this Wisconsin team who runs a 6-2, they burn through subs really quickly. For watch for them to get really low on that, you might see Thomas Ilara playing in the back row, and you might see Robinson at points playing in the back row as well. It is the ninth tie of this set. Pukas. <laughs> Hannah Lewis just got smacked. Huge read at the perfect time. Wisconsin knows late in sets, Oregon wants to go to Morgan Lewis in these tight situations. Collier. That was perfect. Got the touch, and we're tied again. Tie number 10 in this set. Well, Gonzalez had been serving so efficiently in this match. That is a rare error for her. Third service error for the Ducks, but it comes at a crucial time. When we get in the red zone of volleyball, meaning from point 20 on, you have to play as clean as possible because errors feel like they're worth three points right now. Beach to conserving for the Badgers. Pukas setting Collier, and Collier terminating for the Ducks. An easy one undone. Great swing from Collier going up and being high, confident against that big block of Dana Smack in front of her. Hamill setting Franklin. And Franklin sends it out of play. Late in sets, expect Wisconsin to keep getting Sarah Franklin, the Big Ten Player of the Year, the ball. They know in these big moments, Franklin is the one who wants to take that swing. Crawford in to serve. Wisconsin looking for a set point. Bacon out of the middle. Shrek! Anna Smrek using that height to her advantage, going up and over the block. Such an incredible up from the backcourt. She knows she's got to be aggressive on this play, going right inside. Yeah, typically, I use the term Smrek when she gets a block. 
But I think I'll pull it out for that kill as well. That was that was all her. That feels pretty applicable. I mean, it is <laughs> one on two up there, and she finds a way to just sneak past the block. And these are the moments that she lives for. We saw it in that 2021 National Championship match. She was a freshman at that time, and she completely took over, winning MVP of the entire NCAA championship as Wisconsin went on to beat Nebraska in five sets. It's the last time Wisconsin and the only time they've won the national title, but they are no stranger to the national semifinals. And Matt Almer trying to get his team back in this set. Wisconsin will have a set point out of the timeout. And I love this from Matt Ulmer, getting into his players. He's sitting down. He's so into it. Sometimes you'll see coaches maybe want to have a, a player-led timeout. But man, he's in there. He wants to get it done just as badly as they do. Well, they have made history this year by becoming the first Oregon team to go back to back to the regional finals. They are looking for their second trip ever to the national semifinals. First was way back in 2012. But Matt Ulmer has resurrected this Oregon volleyball program and put them back at the top of the game. Many people were mentioning them in the conversation of being a potential champion this year. Winner will move on to face either Texas or Stanford. That match will come up after us on ESPNU. And there's a look at Matt Ulmer's mother. That is Leanne, who is currently the head women's volleyball coach at Carthage College, which is where Matt played college volleyball. Set point, Wisconsin. Pucas setting Murphy. Lewis. Hamill to Booth. Fans want to lift. Smrek. Franklin. So the Big Ten Player of the Year wrapping up the second set with a kill. Wisconsin has never trailed, or excuse me, they have never lost a match this year when they won the first two sets. Franklin making sure they're in a position to defend that streak as she unloaded for her 12th kill of the match. Emily is standing by with Kelly Sheffield. Coach, it's been an absolute battle. What has your team done to capitalize on some of these back and forth plays? We're, we're just, we're staying resilient, I think. I mean, we knew their servers were really good, and, and they've gotten us. We've gotten them. Uh, you know, I think we're working really hard in transition. We're, we're taking really good out of system swings right now. What's one thing you'd like to see your team even improve on during set three? Oh, man. It's a, uh, you know, it, the, uh, the, the scene between the five and the six, we've got to clean that up a little bit. We've got to get Sarah to be a little bit stronger in that scene. Uh, th that, that, would, that would be one thing. We've got to continue to hit high and hit the edges. I love those couple swings that Sarah took into that deep cross-court corner there out of system because there's some opening there. So we just got to keep battling. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. So Wisconsin up 2-0 after hitting 444 in that second set. Happen. A major slugfest between both these teams that are so good on both sides of the ball. During set one, it was all defense. Set two, those offenses are going back and forth. Well, we have already seen one reverse sweep today when Pitt came from two sets down to beat Louisville. That is what Oregon would have to do. And remember, they've never come back from 2-0 down this season. And Wisconsin has never lost a match in which it led 2-0. It will be Oregon serving to begin the third set, specifically Gabby Gonzalez. Gonzalez serving Orgel, and it's an ace right away. That's the number one key Oregon needs to focus on is their serving game. They have to find a way to continue to get Wisconsin out of system. They've done a great job of it so far. They need to continue putting in bullets from the end line. Six service aces for the Ducks. Little one to one ratio to start the set. Crawford back to serve.
Kukis. This is Franklin hitting over the block. Collier. Hamill settles under it, sets Franklin again, and this time Franklin terminates. Wisconsin sped up the set to this outside, leaving Sarah Franklin a seam to hit through. Oregon's blockers are just a little bit late. She's able to capitalize on it and go over that seam in the middle. Pukas pushes it out to the pin to Collier, and Collier wastes no time putting that away. That was just a stunning swing. That ball, she's not looking where she's hitting it. She brings her arm across her body to finish it. So difficult as a defender to read where she's going. Seven kills for Collier. She's taken the most swings tonight, 31. Hamill, quick set to Booth. Nice dig by Pukas. Orzol trying to run it down. This has got to go over. Wow! <laughs> Gustikin saved it. And Smrek finished it. The hustle from Julia Orzol to get it up, and then Gulje Gustikin never giving up on this play and make sure to keep that one foot inside put her in the NFL and a smack to finish it all off now we might see that on Sports Center top 10 one of the best plays of the tournament And Collier, there's just an example of that veteran team answers right away. In a match like this, it's so important to have a 10-second memory. You have to just flush the last play that happened and capitalize on the next one upcoming. Oregon has done a phenomenal job of that tonight. Ashburn setting booth. Nice dig. Paul, you're waiting on this. Too many Badgers in one spot. Point Oregon. Georgia Murphy just not afraid of anything. Anytime Carter Booth goes up, she is right there sitting on it, ready to get it up for her offensive transition. Hamill, tight set to Booth, but Booth got in the net. Point Oregon. Yeah, no question about that one. Carter Booth came down and pretty much grabbed through the net, pulled it back toward her, almost took it down. <laughs> Must win set for Oregon. Franklin. That was Pucas that got the block and it ended up going down. And a good block by Pucas, but more of a miscommunication on Wisconsin side. Every single player that's covering this ball doesn't take it. They have a lot of players who could make a play on it. No one called it off. Pucas again. This is where Wisconsin has got to find a way to just slow down the game. Get a high pass. It doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe high at the 10-foot line. Izzy Ashburn can still run a good offense. Ducks up 7-3 in this must-win set. A 5-0 run to take the lead. Collier blocked by Booth. Collier again. Franklin. Carter Booth. What a read. Massively big read from Carter Booth going outside in a quick transition play. This ball so lightning fast outside. She uses that reach and that length to get all the way out to shut it down. Wisconsin out blocking Oregon 8-4 to four right now. Sarah Franklin will rotate back.
Franklin had the set winning kill in the second. Collier, uh, she had a perfect set to unload on. That was a stunning set all the way out to the pin. That allows Mimi Collier to take a massive rip right down that line. Collier serving. Thomas Ilara tools the block, point Badgers. Smart decision for these setters to continue with that matchup. And Hannah Pukas is up front. She's a smaller blocker on the right side. That allows Wisconsin's outsides to go up and over her. Wisconsin trying to get out of here with a sweep. Pukas takes it over again. And Pukas suddenly has become an attacker, much to the delight of her dad, Brian who was watching tonight. Remember I told you he was a Navy SEAL. Didn't know anything about volleyball, but when his daughter started playing, he actually started coaching basketball so they could get gym access. He made Hannah hit 100 serves in a row before she could leave a gym when she was like 10 years old. Said she hated it, but when she started playing in the 12s, she was the only player that could hit a serve <laughs> over the net. Joust. And Pukas wins that one. Hannah Pukas has taken over for Oregon this set. Man, Hannah Pukas is tough as nails. She walks into a gym and she thinks that she is the best player. Kudos to her father. She's going up against one of the best blockers in the country. <laughs> and she loves it, and so does dad. Remember he taught her, believe you're the best in the gym. Even if you're not, believe you are, and you'll never fear. Ashburn runs back to get that. Franklin sends it. Pukas to McGee. Thomas Ilara. Got it. Thomas Ilara working so hard in transition. She not only gets that block touch to slow it down for her defense, she then works her butt off to get all the way back and have that full runway to approach. Hamilton to serve. Wisconsin trailing by four. Up two sets to nine. Winner moves on to face either Stanford or Texas in the national semis. And McGee with the kill out of the middle. Really smart decision from Kara McGee. Even with two blocks in front of her, she can use them. That quick arm swing to just go right down on top of them. Led the Big 12 in blocking last year as a member of the Baylor Bears. <laughs> Hamill to Smrek. A little off balance. Pukas has time to set. And Gonzalez missed the attack. Went wide. Pukas is saying there was a touch on Wisconsin trying to get Matt Ulmer to challenge, and he's going to listen to her. Pukas might have thought it was a, a net. Yeah. So Pukas telling Matt Ulmer she thought one of Wisconsin's blockers was in the net coming down off of that. Well, Matt Ulmer's two for two tonight challenging. He hasn't lost one yet, so let's see. This is one that uh, Hannah Pukas called for. Looks like it, it was just C.C. Crawford's hair potentially coming down, which actually doesn't count as you in the net. The original. Also, the ball did hit the yeah. net, which might have been the movement that Pukas was talking about. But it doesn't look like from the angle that we see that one of the Wisconsin players was in the net. If anything, it might have been Crawford's hair. But again, that does not count as a net fault. But I think you're right. The, the first movement of the net is the ball hitting the net. Yeah. Look at uh, Caroline Crawford, a future Dr. Crawford, perhaps biology major, planning on going to med school. Transferred in from Kansas. And she's such a competitor. So they did see a net violation. Matt Ulmer has challenged three times. He's won them all. That could have been Crawford coming down. Maybe a look that we didn't get. Maybe a clip of the jersey on the net. But a really good, good eyes by Pukas to call that out for a coach. Yeah, credit Hannah Pukas for encouraging the coach to challenge. Pukas serving, nice serve, gets the ace. 
Put it right in front of Orgel and Hannah Pukas' stellar play in this third set continues. And Pukas has not watched the Louisville loss last year. It hurt too bad. And she never wants to have that feeling again. Crawford off the slide, dug by Murphy. Collier dug by Franklin. Thomas Ilara off hands. Hamill setting Thomas Ilara again. Still alive, so hard to put the ball down in this rally. Hamill, Thomas Ilara, Doug, is Collier. And then Lewis just could not make a play, and that long rally ends with a Wisconsin point. And that's a play you have the whole Oregon team kind of laughing about it, even Coach Romer. Yeah, you just got to shake that one off. Ten second memory, get the next one. Oregon's got to get this set as well, or their season is over. Morgan Lewis has been so good in the postseason, <laughs> all season really, but eight kills tonight. Guchtikin back in to serve for the Badgers. Collier runs it down. This has got to go over. Murphy sends it. Another good defensive play. Smrek into the stands. Good transition play for Wisconsin off of that three ball, getting Smrek going. We've got a lot of work to do now. Smrek now with six kills, four blocks. Pukas pushes it out. And the kill is successful by Morgan Lewis. Morgan Lewis is just money. Whether she's on the right pin or the left pin, they're so confident in her ability to score at such a high clip. She was on the all-region team last year at Louisville when they lost that heartbreaking five set. She's making a case to be on the all-region team here in Madison this year, win or lose. Short serve. Franklin attacks. Smack. And that's what 6-9 gets you. Sometimes on these overpasses, you just got to go up and put down the hammer on it. Well, here's, a, here's a look at what Oregon will see on the other side. You have 6-9 Anna Smrek, 6-7 Carter Booth, who does stuff like that, and 6-4 Sarah Franklin. That shows you just how physical Wisconsin is. How about that creativity by Carter Booth? Could frame that. So difficult to put a ball down against Wisconsin because they're so physical. Those 50-50 balls at the net, they have the height advantage. You don't want to get tied up at the net with them because they'll they'll get it every time. Then we had the graphic uh, Thursday that this Wisconsin team, same size as a lot of NBA superstars. And another crafty play by the Ducks. So Oregon must win this set to keep their season alive. Winner goes to the national semifinals, joining Pitt and Nebraska, who already booked their tickets. Murphy with the set to Lewis. It's a pinball. Collier. Good dig by Guchtikin. Franklin will attack. Lewis. Orzo with a one-handed stab. Ooh. Collier. And the block is on. Despite an incredible set from Hannah Pukas, those blockers are just ready for it. Oregon might want to think about switching it up a little to avoid Booth and Smrek on that right side. Wisconsin within four. Serving Gonzalez, Collier had a lot of time. They're saying there was a touch. Devaney McCarty, the uptouch did not see a touch. Matt Ulmer is going to challenge it. 
Almer three for three tonight in his challenges. He still has two at his disposal. Wisconsin has not had a challenge tonight. So let's see if there was a touch here. Original call, no touch. Maybe that left hand, Devin Robinson, fingers might have been back on contact. Collier was eye to eye with her when she attacked. Oh, yep. And there yep. was a touch, didn't take much time at all. So four for four for is four. Matt Ulmer. Still has no challenges, yeah. That changes the score to 16 to 11. This is a rotation Wisconsin struggled in before with Buchikin and Franklin. McClellan has been serving very effectively for Oregon as well. Booth. Franklin goes over the block. Saved by Pukas. Aspen with a set to Robinson, and it goes out of play. Point Badgers, little fist pump there by Devin Robinson as well. Robinson still without an error in this match, doing a phenomenal job seeing the block in front of her and knowing where to switch up her shot and where to put it. Devin Robinson, she and Izzy Aspen have never missed a match as a Wisconsin Badger. Franklin serving. Bacon off the slide. Missed it wide. That's and the Badgers are creeping back down three. All of a sudden, you give the Badgers just a little bit of room, and they're going to capitalize on it. Tight to the net. Pukas unable to make a play on it. Wisconsin within two. Timeout, Oregon. We'll take a look at that last play. Hannah Pukas going up, trying to be big, get this ball over. But she could take this. It just goes out of bounds. Robinson didn't touch it. Well, Pukas has done all she can to keep Oregon in this set. Carter Booth. Very animated during this timeout. You can see her leadership qualities right away. First team all Big Ten last year as a gopher, this year as a badger. And again, I mentioned uh, she's part of that NBA connection out here tonight. Her dad, Calvin, played at Penn State, 10 seasons in the NBA, won a world championship, and he's now the GM of the Denver Nuggets. And she wears his jersey, by the way, number 52. Look at Calvin as a player at Penn State and with the Mavericks, a world champion as well. And the current GM of the world championship, Timber Nuggets. And a reminder, we got all kinds of celebrities here. I know we're talking NBA, but there's the governor of Wisconsin, Tony Evers, and the first lady, Kathy. Even the governor's here. He knows some good ball when he sees it. I wonder if he was in line at 6 a.m. this morning. <laughs> Did you see him sprint by? You got to figure they might uh, let him in <laughs> not having to line up know. at 6 a.m. But know. hey. It's pretty competitive here. No one's too special to, to hang out in line. Oh, this is such a wonderful place to watch volleyball. No wonder he wants to be here. Collier blocked. Collier will try again. Blocked again, but this time she tools it, and Oregon gets the point. Really high IQ play by the sophomore outside, going right at the hands of the blockers, seeing that they weren't pressed enough so she could use them and tool out of bounds. Short serve. Robinson lifts it over. Gonzalez blocked. Booth and Robinson. Not in my house, they say. Massive stuff. Devin Robinson reading this so well, and then the chest bump celebration to follow. Orgel serves. 
Collier. A high-flying attack. And Oregon staying in front each time Wisconsin's made a run. The Ducks have answered. The lead remains three for Oregon in this must-win set. Service error. Fifth service error of the night for the Ducks. They have had seven aces, however. But it brings Wisconsin to the within two. Watch for Hannah Pukas to maybe throw in a dump here or two to test out the Wisconsin defense. MJ Hamill in to serve one of the two setters for Wisconsin. Collier. Smrek sends it. Pukas to McGee off the slide, and she terminates. Orgel couldn't get it up. Great run from Oregon, getting the middles going and spreading things out, not keeping them in front, but having the outside set and that slide. It really is difficult on those blockers to decide whether to go out or to the right. Fans trying to get the Badgers pumped up here. Thomas Ilara. A smack. And these blocks are just going straight down. Even though Oregon's into cover, it's almost coming back down underneath the line. That's how fast they're coming back. They had 17 blocks against Penn State. 11 tonight. Pukes, what a cerebral play. No one saw that coming on the other side. Such a smart play from Hannah because she hadn't done it in a while. She needed to make sure those Wisconsin batters on defense were locked and ready. Pukas now with five kills tonight, 36 assists, 12 digs. Franklin. Oregon season has come down to what happens in these next few points. Look for Wisconsin to continue to get Sarah Franklin going. She's their go-to attacker in tight situations when they need a point or trying to get back in it. The set goes to 25, win by two. Crawford spotting Oregon a point, 21-18. This is one of Wisconsin's tough rotations in serve receive. They got to get out of it as quick as possible. It'll be Murphy delivering the serve for the Ducks. Smrek. Oh, what a side out by the Badgers to get out of that rotation. Huge pass from Sarah Franklin. It wasn't great, but it was good enough. Ten feet off, that still allows that offense to run. They can get those hitters going with a good ball. Pukas tight to the net. Bacon terminates with authority. And Oregon will not let go with their season on the line. What a set from Hannah Pukas back to the net. A beautiful ball right to her middle. Hamill sets Booth. Carter Booth unstoppable in front when they get her going one on one. She turns that right thumb down and no one's picking that up. Pukas setting Collier. Franklin got one arm on it. This has got to go over, it does. Are you kidding me? The 
awareness to not only get this ball up, but put it straight up. Sarah Franklin, you are incredible. We have seen some of the best plays I've seen all season in this match. It's just jaw dropping. I mean, it's the defensive plays that get your team going. And not only does Wisconsin make them, they put their hitters in a good situation to keep the ball up and put the pressure on Oregon. That extra effort pulls Wisconsin to within one and Oregon takes a timeout and the fans are going to celebrate. The field house. But I'm sure most of them would love to go home in a few minutes. <laughs> I'm sure they'd like to go home as soon <laughs> as possible. But look, and these fans, they just love volleyball. And you could see, even with how many of them stayed to watch Oregon and Purdue the other night, they love watching high level volleyball. Yeah, of course, they love watching their Badgers win. But at the end of the day, man, they live for this, these tight back and forth battles. So again, Wisconsin trying to get back to the national semifinals. Oregon must win this set to keep their season alive. I feel like we should applaud the fans after that. <laughs> It'll be Sarah Franklin serving. Wisconsin trailing by one. Puka's setting bacon. She's blocked. Franklin called everybody off, sent it over. Puka's again with an incredible heads up play. Such a smart high IQ play from the setter. She knew if she put this ball in the middle of the court, it was likely to get picked up. But behind the head, so smart. Kelly Sheffield's going to take a timeout. He actually applauded after that play of Pucas. I mean, that's something even the opposing head coach appreciates. Yeah, real respect's real, man. I mean, that's just an incredible play from the setter. Pucas in this set alone with five kills. And this is what's on the line. Oregon trying to get to the national semis for the second time. For Wisconsin, they are seeking their sixth national semifinal and their fourth in the last five years. Winner of this goes on to face the winner of the Texas Stanford match, which comes up later tonight after us. Pitt with the reverse sweep of Louisville today. Nebraska getting past Arkansas 3 1. So, so far, M, only number one seeds have advanced. I was going to say we might potentially only see chalk if Wisconsin and Stanford yeah. win, but Oregon wants to make this as long of a night as possible. They want to do exactly what Pitt did to Louisville. Down 0-2, backs against the wall, push up its set and eventually win it. This Wisconsin team in their sixth straight regional final. They lost at this stage last year to that Pitt team. And it happened right here. Both these teams trying to erase regional final nightmares from last year. And for Oregon, they must win this set to keep their season alive. It'll be Collier serving. Ashburn, the back set to Robinson. Pukas setting with Dallas. Roofed by Booth. Booth time and time again coming up clutch when this Wisconsin team needs a point. Oregon's lucky because she's checking out of the game. But look, they still got Caroline Crawford up there who is just as formidable defensively. Crawford with 10 blocks against Penn State on Thursday. Orgel serving. Pukas setting Collier out of the back row, kept up by Orgel. Thomas Ilara hits hands. The diving dig by Murphy. Gonzalez dug by Thomas Ilara. Ashburn will set her.
Thomas Ilara in her first NCAA tournament, playing as confident as ever, looking like she's been here a time or two before. It will be match point or set point at the conclusion of this next one. Pukas setting Collier. Set point, Oregon. How about that for a clutch shot? Mimi Collier coming out of the back row. Oregon loves this. Wisconsin has to key in on that and try to get two blockers up. Set point, Oregon, to keep their season alive. Aspirin to Crawford. It's win by two for a spot in the national semifinals. And this is where Wisconsin gets low on subs. You see Devin Robinson in the back row, not a player that is normally back there, nor does she normally serve. Robinson hasn't had an ace this season. And Oregon will have a second set point. Ashburn pushes it out to Thomas Hilara. We're tied again. And this feels like Rocky Balboa, Apollo Creed, <laughs> 15th round battle of the heavyweights back and forth. Well, you can feel the tension in the field house. Timmy Thomas Ilara serving. That hit the scoreboard, comes down on Wisconsin side. Franklin attacks. And Pucas with another gutsy dump. That's a heads up play by the setter, knowing that in right back there's a player that never, never plays back row. She knew if it went right to her, she wouldn't be ready. Set point again for the Ducks. Ashburn setting Franklin. Lucas with the dig. Franklin tight to the net, had to cut it. Collier. Ashford sets Franklin. The Oregon Ducks extend their season and this match from the brink of elimination. Wait just a second. Kelly Sheffield has the challenge card up. He was trying to get the officials attention. Oregon was already starting to change sides and uh, Coach Sheffield is going to issue his first challenge of the match. And uh, challenging whether there was a net violation I believe. Let's see. So they are challenging a net violation. This would be massive. Coaches haven't lost a challenge tonight, by the way, but they've all been issued by Matt Ullman. This ball initially rolled out of bounds, but Kelly Sheffield may be thinking Oregon clipped the net either on the way up or way down. Looks like a pretty clean block, at least at the end of that point. Yeah. Again, uh, they have looks we don't have. If the call stands, we're going to a fourth set. has been made and the call confirmed Oregon takes the set so the Oregon Ducks with their season on the line come through they win the third we're going to the fourth with Wisconsin up 2 one especially in the back row 
She's uh, got comparable numbers to the Big Ten Player of the Year, Sarah Franklin, right now. How about that? And these are numbers that we see Mimi Collier put up all season long. There's a reason why she's top five in the Pac-12 and kills per set and doing a phenomenal job all season long being able to find the floor. Well, I think we all would have been highly shocked if Oregon had been swept in this match just because of the, the veteran qualities of this team. Matt Ulmer said they never get rattled. And if you're ever going to get rattled, though, it's going to be here in the field house. Yeah, this is an easy place to get rattled. So kudos <laughs> to this Oregon team. They did not lie down and no. die. This is a tenacious group who is always ready for the challenge. It was interesting because after practice yesterday, collectively, they seemed excited to be playing in this environment. They actually got to watch the other night a little bit before they played because they played the second match. So. You didn't get the see, uh, feeling that they were intimidated at all. They seemed to really look forward to this. Oh, this whole Oregon group was so excited to play in this loud environment. It was similar when they went to Pitt earlier on in the season. That's a loud environment out there. They knew what they were going to get tonight, and they're rising to the challenge as the match has gone on. So a reminder, the winner of this match moves on to the national semifinals to face either Texas or Stanford. That match about to get underway out in Stanford, Pitt, and Nebraska advancing earlier tonight they're booking their spots down in Tampa booking their tickets I guess I should say and hotels Wisconsin up two sets to one in this three out of five set regional final Pucas with the opening set over to Murphy for the kill Anna Pucas 38 assists in this match gives Lewis her 10th kill. Lucas had a double double in that third set alone with 12 assists and 10 digs. She was really the story for Oregon in the third set comeback. Franklin puts it down for the Badgers. We're tied at a point apiece. We expect this fourth set to be a slugfest. We saw both teams really start to light it up and get really comfortable in both of their offenses. Both sides defense needs to be a little bit more locked in. Crawford will serve for Wisconsin. Pucas tight to the net to Bacon and Bacon finishes it. Wisconsin still continuing to target Gabby Gonzalez in the backcourt, but she's handling it well, allowing that middle to run her route and put the ball down. Matt Omer says Bacon has the quickest lateral first step he's ever seen from someone her height. She's 6'4", touches 10-7. Clevelin with another good serve. Smrek. Straight down in the corner. Man, that's such a hard ball for Anna Smrek to hit because it's coming from behind her head. She can't see the blockers in front of her. It's a blind swing. She just takes a high, confident rip at this ball to the back corner. Well, if you're tuning in to the Texas Stanford match, they're going to start that on ESPN News. They will join us after the completion of this Wisconsin Oregon match. Gonzalez from the back row sends it over. Franklin. McClellan keeps it alive. Collier. And Collier with a perfect swing. The hustle from Oregon in the backcourt. Gabby Gonzalez laying out for this ball. That keeps the ball alive. That allows Oregon to transition this offense. McClellan putting up a pretty good ball for Collier to put away. That was the 51st attack from Collier, and she's back to serve now. Sends the serve out. You mentioned, you know, how many attacks Mimi Collier has. For some context, Morgan Lewis, the next player, has 28 attacks. So that shows you how much Oregon has relied on Mimi Collier, both in the front and the backcourt tonight. Wisconsin looking for the lead. It led since three to two in the last set. Oregon led pretty much that entire third set. And Oregon takes the lead here four to three. Really good up by Wisconsin's backcourt. Maybe not the best decision to try to take that ball over, but not much you can do with that one. Ferreira back to serve. She's a member of the Ducks Beach Volleyball team her freshman year. A couple of crossover players here on this Ducks team. 
That serve goes out. Couple of service errors from Oregon. That's accounted for two of Wisconsin's four points to start this set. Oregon knows they have to serve tough against Wisconsin to take them out of their offensive rhythm. But at the end of the day, that ball just has to be in the court. Guerrero rotating out, very involved in the student athletic leadership at Oregon. Orgel with the service error. What's going on, Emily? Getting a little contagious, both back and forth. <laughs> yeah, Matt, or Matt Olmer also acknowledging it. it's a pretty ugly start <laughs> for both teams. Hey, sometimes you got to win ugly. Pucas ready to serve. Robinson got it just inside the line. Beautiful swing from Robinson, identifying the blockers too far inside. That allows her to go outside of them and hit that seam shot right down the line. Devin Robinson, her dad, head basketball coach at Cleveland State. A lot of basketball, volleyball relationships in this Wisconsin program. Collier flies in the air from the back row and terminates. And then headbutts Gonzalez. Because <laughs> she almost took out her teammate on that one. Nose. A little bit rattled the man. She's been money from that back row. A little uh, inadvertent uh, headbutt between Gonzalez, who's back to serve, and Collier. Self injury. Hamill setting Thomas Ilara, who terminates. So much power on that swing. Tammy Thomas Ilara brings more power than almost anyone in the entire country. The strength she has in her shoulder to unload on the ball when she sees it is unmatched. You know, we've been tied at every point so far in this set. One, two, three, four, five, and now six. Wisconsin trying desperately to win this match in four. Wisconsin again has to win this set to keep its season alive. Franklin says no, no. Ready for that attack by Morgan Lewis. Wisconsin's been really good on these tip plays, hanging just a little bit longer and then shutting it down right when they see the tip coming. Pukas tight to the net. McGee hammers <laughs> it. That's a good run from Oregon. When they get that perfect pass, McGee is clutch every single time. Pukas delivers the exact same ball to her. McGee knows if it's in that window, she can take a full swing. Murphy targeting Franklin. Hamill sets Crawford. Crawford floating and then finally attacking. She hung up there for a while. Felt like she was up there for about five minutes, Sam, before she took a swing at that ball. Shows you how much hop she's got getting all the way up there. Yeah, a little deception in midair. Love it. Silent assassin, as Kelly <laughs> Shuffle calls her. Lucas. Oh, that's nice. Perfect set back to Morgan. Easy one and done for Morgan Lewis on the right side. So efficient when that ball is in system with a little bit of tempo. She knows she's going to have the seam in it. She swings right through. She told us after the match on Thursday just how incredible it is to play with a setter like Pucas that she delivers just a perfect ball for her. Hamill will set Franklin and Franklin obliges. Franklin sneaks this ball past scenes that you don't even see if you're watching the block. She sneaks it right through. She's got such great court vision to do so. Most kills Franklin's ever had in an NCAA tournament match. And this back and forth fourth set with so much on the line for Oregon. Their season is on the line in this set. Ace Izzy Ashburn, the all-time leader in that category in Wisconsin history delivers another one. It's one of the best servers because she moves it around. Sometimes she puts it deep and sometimes right in front of those passers. If you're with us Thursday, you learned in high school she served an entire 25-0 set. Pucas to Bacon. Ashburn back set to Robinson. And the Badgers are heating up. Wisconsin is scary when they get into a rhythm, especially a player like Devin Robinson that feeds off of that momentum. 
The Badgers up by three. Gonzalez ran out of options. And it all started with the serve. Timeout. As Wisconsin's on a run right now, they've won the last four points. And they are bringing it here in this fourth set. If they win this set, they're headed to Tampa. Collier. Franklin tools the block. Franklin doing such a phenomenal job mixing up her shots. It's not all power. She's a crafty attacker that goes to those off speeds time and time again because they work. Having an NCAA career match, Sarah Franklin, most kills she's ever gotten in an NCAA tournament match. Pukas will set Collier. Guchtikin with the dig. Franklin pushes it to the corner. That'll work. Oregon will take another timeout right away as the season is on the line for the Ducks, but Sarah Franklin has been brilliant. She's been outstanding. We know that she can have that strong cross-court power attack or rip one down the line, but what that does is it allows these crafty shots, the off speeds going right up the block. Those fall because we know that she has power and the defense is ready for that hard attack time and time again. Franklin with three kills in this 6-0 run. Uh, over the summer, they took a trip to Europe. Kelly Sheffield had done some research and said that teams that take a foreign trip the next season go one round further. Well, that would put them in the national semifinals. They started in Turkey, got to visit the Guchtikin family, progressed through Europe, ended the tour with a Bruce Springsteen concert in Zurich, Switzerland, and played some incredible volleyball as well. I mean, what a dream. You get to travel the world, you get to see Bruce Springsteen, and bring your team together as one. These European trips are so important for building team chemistry. And those connections, too. Kelly Sheffield has talked about a player like Temi Thomas Ilara, who benefited so much from taking that trip, getting a lot of attempts with her setter, and bringing in those new pieces. That's one of the reasons why they've had so much success, so much success from day one. Well, the ironic thing about that trip, though, was that Sarah Franklin was not on it. In fact, she didn't know if she was going to be able to keep playing volleyball at that point. She had been diagnosed with a, a rare blood clotting disorder in one of her arms, had to have surgery. Depending on how the surgery went, her career could have been er over, but obviously it went very well, and she got the best-case scenario result but felt like she needed to stay here to rehab and get ready for this season. So she actually wasn't on that trip. It's incredible what she's done this season, coming back from that looking better than somehow she did before <laughs> all that happened. Big change of perspective as well, she says. Ashburn serving Badgers on a 6-0 run. Oregon's burned their two timeouts. Ruth. Booth, do not do this in her house. She got that <laughs> hand of steel coming right back at you. It's like you don't think she's there, and that hand just wraps around and gets you every time. Carter Booth with eight blocks, largest lead of the match for Wisconsin. And Bacon sides out for the Ducks. Great decision from Hannah Pukas to get some different kind of offense going, provide a little bit more balance and get that middle running. Uh, these fans respond right away. They do not want to see their team lose another five setter in the regional final. Franklin dug by Murphy. Pukas will set. Collier flying in with the kill. Collier has been money from the back line. Hannah Pukas needs to continue to get her going back there. It's been so effective. It's one on one every single time. Eight seniors on this Oregon roster. Robinson rolls it over. 
Bacon again. This time misses the attack long. And all that maturity and composure being tested right now. We've seen Oregon come back from deficits like this before. Again, 18-11 down in set one against Hawaii. They came back to win that set. This is a team that will not lie down. Pukas setting Collier again, and that back row attack is working now. Hannah Pukas knows that Mimi Collier is lights out from the back row. She has to continue to keep her involved in the offense. It's scoring almost every single time. Ducks have cut the lead to five. Ashburn tight set to Booth. Hit into McGee. Collier again. This time the back row attack is long. Wasn't as clean that time. We found out Mindy Collier's human from the back row during that one. It's a good run, just got a little bit under it, forcing that ball a little bit higher in the trajectory. Kelly Sheffield trying to guide his team back to another national semifinal. It would be their sixth. Pucas, <laughs> she's been so aggressive tonight. That is her eighth kill. And she handled that dump. She got <laughs> right on top of it and just threw it straight down. Check out the power coming from her arm up here. Man, no one's getting that up. She just has a knack for doing it at the exact perfect time. She lifted her team in that third set. She needs to do it again here. Robinson. Perfect in the corner. Robinson every time going for that back corner, splitting the right back and middle back defenders perfectly going between them. And Jay Hamill in to serve. McGee trying to get the quick finish and does. There's that fast offense. Smrek thought about laying out. <laughs> I think she thought about it and was like, yeah. I don't know if I can get up after that. She was pretty far away. She was going to take half the bench out if she did it. <laughs> Rolled over by Franklin McGee, made a play on it, almost worked. Pukas dumps again, Orgel was ready. Smrek, got hands. <laughs> Wisconsin just knows how to thrive in chaotic plays. That tells you what you need to know about the leadership on this group. They never panic. It might be chaotic, they just get that ball high and are able to send it over. Gooch sticking back to serve, that's why you hear those. Sounds that resemble a boo. Collier still alive. Gustikin saved it. Collier again. Smacked. the defense on Wisconsin side just to keep these balls alive. Gulze Gustikin got to play through the whistle. That's exactly what she does. And Anna Smrek said, not in my house. Put it right back down. Uh, call your tempting fate two times. Gustikin with a service error and allows the fans to at least take a seat for a while. But Wisconsin five points away from the national semifinals unless the Ducks can slow them down. Hamill out to Franklin, missed it. Point Oregon. Good discipline block from Oregon, low and over, forcing Sarah Franklin to hit higher than she wanted that time going out of bounds. Good serve. Franklin waiting on it, rolls it, got it. 
Franklin continuing to use that craftiness. She unloads on one, peels back for the next one just to put it right in the middle of the court with the light touch. 21-15, Sarah Franklin with her 19th kill. Side out Oregon, Morgan Lewis terminates on the right pin and then rotates out. Really great answer from Oregon, nailing the pass, getting Lewis going on that right side. Now with Hannah Pukas in the front row, look for her to get a little bit more offensive. Hamill pushes it behind her to Smrek. Gonzalez saves it, Pukas setting Bacon. Franklin. Wisconsin, three points away from a trip to Tampa. For Oregon, it was going to be the final season for these players, some of the best all time to wear a Dutch uniform. Is that season running out? What careers you have had in that group of seven? It's one of the reasons they've been so successful this year is that maturity factor and experience for Oregon. Collier. Ashford, a lot of time setting Robinson. Collier takes it out of the air. Booth tried to finish, good save by McClellan. Orgel, what a dig, yes! I think we could do an entire Sports Center top 10 from this match. 100%. Collier. Point Wisconsin. Match point. Mimi Collier extends the Oregon season for another point. It remains match point for Wisconsin. Gonzalez goes over the block. And Oregon has saved two match points in a row. Six more to work with, though, for Wisconsin. A third match point coming for the Badgers and a trip to the national semifinals on the line. in the Sunshine State. They have booked their trip to Tampa. A national semifinalist for the sixth time. Sarah Franklin with a career match. 20 kills. And the Oregon Ducks, who had one of the best seasons in program history, their season comes to an end. The ticket to Tampa. So far, number one seeds have advanced to the national semifinals. We congratulate Kelly Sheffield and the Wisconsin Badgers as they are a national semifinalist. They'll play the winner of our next match between Texas and
Stanford. We send you to Eric Freed and Missy Whittemore out in Stanford.